Okay, so now if you really want to, uh, you know, if you really want to start with, uh, you know, retargeting, uh, I'll tell you uh, there are a lot of ways to do it. Facebook, they do have uh, own retargeting capacities. Uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, or social media network, they do have their own retargeting uh, our platforms where you can do retargeting campaigns. Now, keep in mind, let's say, for example, if someone is visiting my website, if they want to go to Facebook, I can start with, uh, you know, Facebook retargeting. Uh, there are a lot of options where you can build audiences. But one of the tools which I'll suggest you that can help you to immediately start with retargeting, which is this ad roll. I'm a huge fan of ad roll. Uh, so this is one of our account. But we do have a uh, different account. This is just an idea. And you see that uh, this is an ad roll account. And this is from us 10 to 23. And you can see that these are some campaigns. So what you have to do is just log in to ad roll. And uh, I should tell you, so just go to ad roll. You go to ad roll. And then what you have to do is just, just log in with Adroll. You can see try Adroll free. Just create an account in Adroll. And then what you have to do is uh, get one pixel code. So uh, Adroll will give you a pixel code. Put that pixel code across your website. So if you have got tag manager, you can use tag manager. So that can be done. So you see that I am quickly logging into uh, this sheet. So I am logged into this. Now what I am going to do is you can see that uh, uh, left hand side you see some bar. You can see some settings option. So you see that settings. So I'll go to settings, and and you'll get a code and make sure that you put that code across all pieces of the website, which is important. You can see, uh, so uh, by domain, this this is some advertiser profile. So brand data. So you can see that. So this is our uh, profile. You have to put your website, and then uh, this is very simple thing that we need to do. User permissions. So our payment methods, so you can work on some payment methods. Data collection, so you can also uh, uh, connect this account with Facebook as well. So you can do Facebook retargeting as well. Uh, some data collection opt-ins, so, so make sure that you click here and click here. Uh, that's important. You can, you can go to some GDPR compliant. You can see that, uh, so that's important. And then this is IP. So prevent all ads in account from displaying on unwanted computer network. You can choose exclude certain IPs. So if you want to make sure that uh, if you want to exclude certain IPs, you can do it. Uh, so that's important. So if you don't want to associate it with certain domain publisher or website, so if you want to, if you don't want to show ad on some websites, you can always put it here. Uh, that's very important. Uh, you can, you know, uh, one lakh domain you can add. And 30 minutes, it will take 30 minutes. This is just a setting option. And then uh, this is help center. These are all notifications. Fine, so campaign. This is, you know, this is your details. I'll go here and you can see that what we need to do is we need to create a campaign. This is a dashboard, we'll go to campaign. So what I'm gonna do is, so make sure that you, you have to put that code. Uh, you can see here, uh, so this is a campaign so you can see that I'm going to click on create campaign and uh, the objective is what is your objective so you see that drive brand awareness on the web drive brand awareness on the social media so if you want to show up this one on Facebook and Instagram so what it means is someone coming to your website and they go to Facebook Instagram you want to make sure that if you see your ad uh, you can always go with this or if you, if you want to start with native ads or display ads or video ads you can start with this uh, and then uh, convert visitors across channels. This is all about conversion. So if you're looking for conversion, you can always go with this. And uh, you can see ad lab with the audiences attribution reports. So let's say if you want to start with a brand awareness campaign. So I can click here. And uh, what I need to do is I'm going to create a campaign. It's very simple, straightforward. So if you're creating a campaign on Google Ads, uh, or let's say if you're creating it on Facebook or LinkedIn, it's very simple. You can see that, uh, so we're going to have some account level. So you can see, so you can always uh, set a daily budget, immediately start, end date. And then what you need to do is you need to create an, uh, uh, you need to create an ad group. So the point is what you have to do is here, we're going to talk about what is your campaign settings. So it's a, choose the type of sites where your ad will show. This is contextual targeting. You can set some specific websites where you want to show advertisements. You can target on the basis of demographic or interest. So let's say, for example, if I want to show, if I want to show my ad to someone who is uh, having some specific demographic, for example, someone age, let's say I want to target from 22 or 30, that can be done with some specific interest. So, if you want to explore interest, what you can do is go to Google Analytics 
uh, I find that part is very important and go to analytics and there you will find interest and you can find interest of your audience if you want to specific some specific interest you can do it or if you want to have lookalike audiences so someone coming onto your website uh, you want to tell the ad that okay uh, people coming onto your website uh, create replicas so you want to uh, target someone who is same as this audience so that you can always do and then you can name a test campaign for example so let's say a uh, uh, demographic or interest you can set daily budget which i want to spend a uh, one dollar a day but what they're suggesting is at least two rupees uh, uh sorry three dollar two point five dollar a month and then impressions and then you can put start date end date so it's i'm going to start this campaign from 25th and i'm going to end this campaign on uh, 29 i highly advise that you should be start with you know end date because that's important and then there are some advanced options so i'm going to make it yes and then we need to build an audience you can say interest these are some interests and then you can always select uh, location and then what you need to do is you need to create an ad so you can upload an ad so let's say for example uh i'm going to start with this uh so you can see so so you can check these options but before i do this let me quickly tell you audiences I click on leave option it's very simple i'll quickly show you so you see that uh, these are my audiences so you can see that how many people they have actually came to my site uh, we can build audiences under audiences tab you can see the site audiences unique visitors 656 from february 22 23 this is just an idea 2076 page views so people they have seen you know uh, some people came to the website and they have seen these many pages 2076 and these are the audiences which i'm building as of now this is as you post in the bath and this is uh this is all audiences you can see that all visitors they visited uh to my website which is 745 and if i click if i click here you see that we'll get some insights about my audiences so number one thing what you need to do is make sure that you have to place a code on your website. Once that code is installed, you will see some details. You see that uh, insights. So people actually, actually who are coming back, who are actually coming onto my website, uh, they are coming more from uh, a mobile phone. And this is uh, others, Xiaomi, Redmi Redim Note 4. So this is just an idea. Like uh, you see that iPhone is big, and then uh, generic smartphones, desktop versus mobile. You see that more people are coming from desktop and then mobile. Operating system will get some details if people are coming more from Windows and then Android. And then Windows 7, Android 10, Windows 8, and some others. Web browsers, you see a lot of people are coming from Chrome. Uh, country, language, so you can see where they are coming from. This is important. So, uh, so what you can do is you can do, uh, you can get to know all these details. Uh, this is so important. So, if you want to edit, this is just an idea so you can edit so just check this option you have a lot of options and once you are ready you can see ad library so what you have to do is you have to make an ad and make sure that you put ads here let's say if i go to ad library so they do have their own specifications the way we do it on google display network so you see that ad library so we'll see so you see that these are the ads which are showing as of now and if you want to upload, you can just upload. You see that these are the ads. So you display at 300 by 250 pixels, uh, 300 by 600 pixels, 160 by 600, 970 by 750. Native ads, web video ads, Facebook, Instagram. See all supported sizes. So what you have to do is before you start with uh, campaigning on Android, make sure that uh, you check all these formats. You see that this is important. So you see that. Uh, you can find here a static web ads formats but this is just a quick idea so uh, what you do is just go to your uh, your designer and give them this size and make sure that they create this one that is a, that is done you can always upload sizes so you can see that so if i see this preview you can see that this is preview fine and then you can always work on utm uh, parameters you'll see these details so you see that this is my ad so someone came to my site we're going to show them this are you still looking for 
uh, master's course in digital marketing. I want them to click on this ad. I want them to come to my website. This is so, so interesting. Fine. So uh, once that is done, now it's easy to create a campaign. So let's I'll start creating campaign quickly. I'll show you how we can do it. So make sure that you put that code. So Adobe will give you that code. Uh, so let's say create a campaign. A brand awareness or drive brand awareness on social media. So I'll start with drive brand awareness, for example. So I'm going to create a campaign quickly. I do have my ads available. So campaign name, lookalike, you, you can see that people who are similar to the site. So I'm actually talking to someone who's actually come to a website. I want to make sure that uh, they should see my ad quickly. Uh, so that's why I'm creating, which is campaign lookalike. So let's say I've got 1000 people on the website in last week. So I want to make sure that people, uh, same as 1000 people or people uh, who are lookalike this 1000 people, they should be seeing my ads. Campaign like, so I'm going to make lookalike campaign. And the daily budget I'm going to put at one dollar, but we need to see some statistics. I'll show you quick statistics: three dollar, and then I'm going to focus on clicks. So I'm actually telling Andrew to show my ads such a way that I should be getting clicks. And end it. I'm going to keep at first of March. Sorry, for thirty first of uh, March. Ad group name, and then we're going to work on audiences. You can choose location, but. Uh, Location, so I'm going to target Ahmedabad as of now, Ahmedabad city, and then I'm going to create an ad, so it's upload, or choose uh, from your ad role. So I've already, uh, you know, uploaded my ad, so I'm going to choose those ads quickly. For this campaign, you see I'm selecting again. So that is important. So I'm just selecting again, and then what I'll do is I'll click on choose option. That that's That's it, that's done. And then I need to uh, uh, work on, uh, uh, you know, uh, billing method. And then I'm going to launch a campaign. So once that is done, I'm so excited to ready a launch. So I'll click on launch. So primary for all changes. So I'm going to launch this ad. And then uh, I'll sign in with your PayPal. So let's start with the PayPal. So I'll quickly connect PayPal and I'll start with this. And once that is done, I'm going to add this and my campaign will get live in some time. And you can also see what results we have achieved. This is just an idea. And we can get all details like where my ads are shown. You can go to reports and you can get all these reports. You can see that how many impressions I got 1,22,000. I'll see it here. We'll quickly see. So this is reports. You see uh, where your ads are shown, where are people seeing your ads. You can see day of the week, you can see a lot of details here, so make sure that you go and check these details. And then if I go to ad campaign, you will see a lot of details. So you can see that similar lookalike audience. You see the how much money we have spent, similar audience, one lakh two eight four four twenty one dollar we have spent. So not running as of now. So what I'll do is I'll check it for last uh, 14 days and we'll see some good statistics. So see that how many impressions we have done, how many clicks we have done. You can see clicks and CTR, you see 0 0.14, 0 0.51 and we can do a lot of things. So uh, my advice is just check these details. Uh, you can do fantastic work with the help of this. You can see that you can always start with the email campaign. You can create a campaign and the problem is uh, so I'm going to create a campaign so uh, so that I can always do so make sure that you, you check uh, uh, you know check ad role and I suggest ad role to start advertising uh, you can see uh, email marketing the power of retargeting sends straight to your customers inbox just check this option and uh, it's a very fantastic way to start the retargeting so I hope that uh, this this is adding a lot of value and make sure that you start with retargeting and using ad role uh, that's very important important